So good news, there's new firmware available for DVDO's AV Lab TPG, the first pocket-sized 4K test pattern generator. That means new features for you. I'm David Feller with uh, DVDO, and let's take a quick look. So if you're interested in more information on the uh, DVDO's AV Lab TPG, there's other videos that go through the entire usage model as well as how to use it in both setting up a, a new display, a new 4K display, or in a full calibration session. We're going to just take a quick look at what the new features are with the version 1.01 uh, firmware. So it's a brand new release that's going out here at the middle of April of 2014. So what did we add? Uh, we actually got a lot of really great response uh, from the people that, that purchased early units um, and asked for some other features and some other patterns. So let's run through those. This is the standard uh, 8x3 pattern that's already built in. So one of the most common things requested was uh, a new sharpness pattern and I actually showed you this in one of the introductory videos. Um, but this pattern was added specifically to adjust sharpness uh, on a display. So what we have here is a one pixel and a two pixel white line around the edge, as well as uh, crosses both vertical and horizontal of one, two, three, and four pixels. So you can see it graduates up from one, two, three, four. Um, I'm displaying here at uh, 4K resolution, 4K 60. Um, so this is actually a one pixel wide black line. And again, in the introductory video, we, we tell you what to look for in the test pattern. But this one is specifically designed for sharpness. Uh, Joel Silver over at uh, ISF helped us tweak this to get exactly what we wanted. Uh, second new thing we added were 75% patterns. Uh, good idea to have 75% across the board for each of the colors. And they are, in fact, now the defaults on the remote control. So if you push magenta, for instance, now it'll come up with a 75% IRE pattern. Um, we also added half patterns. So if you have a source that's putting out a particular pattern, uh, I can overlay a test pattern on top of it. So this half, or let me change to a vertical, the top is a pattern that's coming through from a screen capture that I've done on a, a computer. And it's putting out this test pattern. We're overlaying a test pattern on top of it. So what would you use this for to actually check the color calibration of the source itself? So you can see it's roughly the same pattern. So I can see at the transitions that uh, there are some slight differences in both the color, the, 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 the hue, if you will, as well as the brightness. So uh, that gives me the ability, if I've already calibrated the TV so I know these test patterns are correct, uh, I can go back and for sources that allow you, like a PC or some of the Oppo uh, Blu-ray players, um, let you actually tweak the source as well. So we added half patterns. Uh, we also added some new things in the menu space as well. So let me go to just a standard, standard pluge pattern. We'll bring up a menu. Uh, you can see now that in the output settings, uh, I have uh, the things we had before, the same color spaces we had before. Let me go down to 1080p60 so it's a little bit easier to see. We'll change the output format. So uh, here we had uh, YC444 uh, in limited range. We had it in 422 limited range. And the standard is RGB in full range, 0 to 255. Uh, but we also added uh, RGB limited range. There are some applications where uh, you need limited range RGB. So we added this. Um, we also made the give you an automatic setting for output bit depth. So we can either read... Uh, what the source is telling us that it wants, or we can hard set 8, 10, or 12 bits. Um, all the new test patterns that we added are uh, included here in the test pattern list, so you can get to them either from the OSD or the remote control. Um, but one of, the, one of the things most requested from users uh, were custom patterns. So if you're using things like Chroma Pure uh, to do you know, 3D LUTs, uh, or uh, the SpectraCal Kelman software, um, the ability to do, instead of just 0 to 100% IRE as the window uh, in RGB, we now added full triplet support. So you can give us, in a serial command, for instance, the, the new command is AA. It's detailed in the user guide if uh, you want to do it yourself. 
uh, or test it with uh, you know terminal emulator programs. Um, but the new command is an AA command, and it lets you do zero to 255. So you have full 8-bit control. You can uh, include that in a single command uh, as either limited or full range input. Uh, as well as that single command will override any current output settings and allow you to say, hey, I want that output in YC444, uh, limited, uh, RGB, limited or full range, um, and, uh, and also control not just the window size, which you could do before in the previous command, because uh, you know some TVs auto adjust uh, their brightness or the backlight based on what how much total power is, is showing. So you can adjust the window size, but now we also give you the ability to control the background uh, brightness in zero to 100% IRE. So it's just gray scales. We don't give you the ability to do color. Um, but if you're uh, using a software package that implements APL, um, we, we provide that ability now with the new command. So those are the highlights. Those are the new things that we've added in the firmware. And we're always looking for other suggestions. So if there's things that you want to see added, uh, please drop an email uh, to help or info at dvdo.com and we'll, we'll take a look at it. Thanks.